Women to Win, helping to get more Conservative women into Parliament. I'm delighted to offer my continued support to Women to Win on this, your fifth anniversary. It's worth reflecting on how far the Conservative Party has come in that time and a huge thanks to the massive amount of work that you've done to make that happen. When there was very little there, um, Women to Win set themselves up and really looked at how we could push to get more women in. Um, they highlighted the issue and then supported women coming through. I uh, met up with Anne Jenkin and we decided to co-found uh, Women to Win with the view of trying to bring in more women uh, into Parliament. I think Women to Win played a really important role of galvanising people to act and also encouraging good women to come forward and say, look, I've got to the top of my business, I've got to the top of my profession, I run a great voluntary body or a great charity, why shouldn't I be able to be a Member of Parliament legislating and governing the country? That was the attitude we needed fostered and Women to Win played a huge role in helping that to happen. For me, Women to Win was fantastic because it made me realise that I could do it and not only could I do it, but people wanted me to do it. And I think for women, that's a big thing that they need to hear. I'd stood a number of times before, and it was really good that all the things I'd experienced and the things I'd learnt along the way, I was able to um, put at the disposal of new uh, candidates coming along. Women to Win were fantastic in training and support and mentoring. They knew the support that I needed, somebody to speak to, somebody at the end of the phone line and then more practically when you needed money for campaigns they were there as well. While my campaign was going they, they, they gave money I and mean, I was like amazed <laughs> someone gave me money. <laughs> if the Conservative Party is going to have a conversation with the rest of the country that makes sense then it's got to have a conversation with itself that makes sense, that reflects all opinion and all parts of the country. And if you've got 10 men in the room having that conversation, rather than a better balance of men and women, it's never going to be a proper, reflective conversation. The Conservative Party has lots of white, middle-aged, public school boys from the southeast of England. I don't want to criticise them too much because I am one. Um, but we need much, much broader representation and that's where Women to Win really comes in. One of the constraints on having more women MPs is that far more men want to be MPs than women. Women to Win really recognise that what women should be trying to do in order to be successful is not be like men. The party has done a huge amount of work on diversity and I'm delighted to see the results. I'm, I must be one of probably about 18 or 19 openly gay MPs on our side of the house. I couldn't do this if my husband was a sexist, but then I don't think any one woman would be wanting to go into politics with this little woman who'd marry a sexist man in the first place. You know, people sort of sometimes say, are you having fun? And yes, there is fun in the job, but it's a really important job. And I think important jobs can be difficult sometimes, so I've always gone in with my eyes open. I think you need a sense of humour. You need not to be uh, too serious. And you need to care passionately from the bottom of your heart about the people that you aim to represent. One of the challenges that we faced was that uh, as well as changing the processes to make it more balanced and fair between men and women when it came to selecting candidates, you also need to have really good women coming forward as candidates. The truth is this agenda requires action at every level, right at the top to change the procedures and the processes, but right at the bottom you need more good women coming forward as candidates. I think the life of an MP is very difficult. You know, everyone says it's not particularly family friendly and they're right. You have terms like teachers, so you go into recess and you can spend more of the holiday times with them. Without the support of the whips, I probably wouldn't be able to do this job. They've been very sensitive to my needs as a single mother and they've really enabled me to both make a contribution in Parliament and be a good mother to my kids. Well, I think it's been really important to have a grassroots organisation that is helping women at every level Level in the party, helping them get the training they need, helping uh, lobby the party for better access, making sure we change the processes for selecting candidates, supporting women individually and also just raising the profile of the issue and pointing out how important it is. We have to actively support the next set of women coming up. It does have to be a, a reaching out to those and saying, look, these are the tough things, these are the easy things, and this is what we've got right. Please remember that the rest of us want you to join us. We want more women here. I certainly regard my women colleagues, obviously, as equals in fact, probably superiors in many cases in terms of their experience. But I think with the wonderful 
role models that we now have in place, uh, there will be lots more women coming forward and the future is bright. Look at the brilliant candidates that came forward, that got selected, that got elected, that are really effective as members of parliament. You could be joining them, you could be part of that team, so I hope more people will consider putting their names forward.